If you'd like to know how to create voice output like this, Hi, I'm from the future. Using Python, keep watching. I'm going to be showing you the 11 Labs API in this tutorial because I found it at the moment to have the best quality output. That may change in the future, but it's also easy to use and you don't need an API key or even an account just to try it out. You can do it totally free straight from a few lines of Python code. So let's see how to do that. 11 Labs have actually made a Python package which makes it very easy to use their API. So we'll install that first with pip. We use pip. And on my machine, I've got versions two and three installed, so I need to specify three. But for you, maybe you can just use pip on its own. Install, and then it's called 11 Labs. Nice and easy. Press Enter. I've already got it installed, so it's very quick. Uh, but maybe wait a few seconds, and it should be done. And we're ready to start coding. Over in a new Python file here, the first thing we do is import the package we just installed. So import 11 Labs. We're going to start off without an API key, just to show that it can be done, or we can use it for free. But after several attempts, it will eventually stop us and say, hey, you've had your trial now, please make an account. But I think we'll still be okay. So let's start off by creating the program in two parts. The first part is generating the audio, and the second part is playing the audio. Let's store the audio in a new variable called audio, or call it whatever you like. And this is going to be a method within the 11 labs module called generate. So it's 11 labs and within that the dot generate. Inside these brackets, the two arguments that we need are the text and which voice you want to use. I'm going to press enter just to make it look a bit cleaner. So what text shall we have? Let's have okay. And the second argument will be the voice that we want. This can be a voice ID if you know it. It can be the name of a voice if you know it. Or it can be a voice object which can be created. And I'll show you that a bit later on. First of all, let's use a voice that I know is in there called Bella. All right. That's it. That's the generation part finished. But we can't hear it yet to do that. We need to play it. So we use the 11 labs module again. And within that, there is a play method. That's so easy to understand. That's good. And what do we play? Well, we play the audio that we just sort of generated. And that should be it. Let's give it a try. I'll save this. I'll go over to my terminal. Uh, let's clear all that so it's easy to understand. Right, as I said, I've got two versions of Python installed, so you may be okay just doing Python. I need to actually type Python 3, and then I've called this file generatevoice.py. Press enter and wait a couple of seconds for it to generate, and we'll see what happens. Hi, I'm from the future. <laughs> it worked. Uh, thank you very much. And to prove that's not a pre recorded thing that I created, uh, let's just change this a little bit. Why don't we say. <laughs> Hello, I'm from the past. Okay, save that. Try it again. I'm pressing the up key on my keyboard, which uh, automatically fills in the last command that I used. So. Hi, I'm from the past. Oh, are you, Bella? Very interesting. <laughs> so there you go. That's the easiest way to use the 11 Labs API for text to speech generation. Now, you might be wondering how can I change the voice or how do I even know what voices are available? So let's look at that next. On YouTube, if you search for 11 Labs voice samples, I've got this video here which plays a preview of all of the 11 Labs pre made voice samples. I think it's nearly 40 or so of them. And so it's very easy to hear what they sound like. Hi there, this is the voice of Adam from 11 Labs. Hi there, this is the voice of Antoni from 11 Labs. And so on. If you look in the description, I list the names of all of them together with the voice ID. And initially, the name is is enough, but when you get into a bit more complex uh, programming, then it's better to have the voice ID as well. Anyway, let's pick something from here. Um, Freya. I can't remember what kind of voice that is, but we'll try Freya. So back over to our program, and we'll change this to Freya. I'm going to save that, run it again. Hi, I'm from the past. Oh, wow. Interesting voice there. 
and let's demonstrate with a voice ID. So I'm going to go back over to YouTube and copy, uh, oh, James, here we are, the voice ID for James, and back over to our program. I'll put that in instead of the name, so you can use either. Save that over in the terminal, run again. Hi, I'm from the past. Hmm, very good. So those are the two minimal things you need, the text and the voice. You can also add a model, and the model can be monolingual, so by default English, or it can be multilingual. And they have um, a few uh, European voices, I think, at the moment, um, some others, I can't remember the full list. But if you want to do something that's not in English, then you would add the model like this. So a new line, model equals, and then it's 11 underscore. So monolingual is the default, and it's V1. If you wanted to do languages other than English, then you would change this to multilingual. That's it, very easy. If you're just sticking with English, you don't even need to say this, so you can just ignore that whole line together. The next thing you might want to do is save the file, not just listen to it, but save it. And we can easily do that. Instead of the play method, we just use the save method. So let's try that. Uh, I'll hide that and write save. And this takes two arguments, the actual audio that we generated and then the file name. So a comma, and we can call it whatever you like, audio.mp3. It's in mp3 format, by the way. And that's it. Uh, let's change this message a bit, shall we? Hi, I'm from outer space. Why not? <laughs> All right, we'll save this and run again. Okay, so there's nothing that we can hear there, which is fine because all we did was save the file. Well, let's look for it and play it. So in my file list here, I've got the Python file I was working with, and there is a newly generated audio.mp3 file. If we play it, it should be... Hi, I'm from outer space. Hey, it's James saying he's from outer space. Hi, I'm from outer space. And he sounds very excited about it. <laughs> Good. So there we go. We've seen how to play audio and how to save audio. There's another thing that we can do as well, which is to tweak the settings a bit to kind of control how the voice sounds. First of all, I'm going to go back to just playing the audio rather than saving it as a file. And then what we want to do is we want to change the voice ID here into a voice object. So let's use a variable for that called voice, and we need to prepare this variable before we generate it. So the voice is going to equal, and this is something that is created by an 11labs method called voice. So we need to start off with the 11labs module again. Within that, there is a voice method like this. This has at least two arguments, and the two that we need are voice ID and settings. I'm going to press enter, create a space there. So the voice ID, and let's use what we used before, James. So I'm going to paste that in. Settings is the next one. And this will be another 11labs method called voice settings. So we can do the same thing again from the 11labs module. Within that, we've got the voice settings. There are two settings we can control in here, so I'm going to press enter again, make it nice and pretty. And the two settings are stability and similarity boost. Let's start with stability. And this can go up to one for a very stable voice, which actually can sound a bit boring. And it can go down to zero, which is very unstable, very expressive, almost emotional. Let's start with one and see what that sounds like. The next one is similarity boost. And I have to say, I haven't really heard any difference when I've been changing this. The default is 0.75. I think it has the biggest effect when you clone voices and you can make the voice more similar with a higher number here, but there might be a few weird sounds in it. As I say, I haven't heard any difference. Keep it at 0.75 and I would recommend concentrating on stability for the biggest effect. So let's try with stability one and see what James sounds like. I'm saving that file over to the terminal and running again. Hi, I'm from outer space. Okay, not so boring, yeah, kind of normal. Let's try with stability of zero and see what he sounds like. Save again, run again. Hi, I'm from outer space. Oh, okay, yeah, are you really James? Well, good for you. 
Okay, so he did sound a bit more um, sort of expressive there. It makes a bigger difference when you have a longer piece of text. Speaking of longer pieces of text, this totally free way of doing it here is restricted to a certain number of characters. Officially, I think it's supposed to be 2,500 characters, although I've been getting warnings when I've gone over above 300 or so. So you will need to get an API key if you want to continue using this or have long chunks of text. Let's finally look at how to use an API key in this program. Firstly, to get an API key, you need to sign up for 11 Labs, go to your profile, and then if you click the eye icon, you can see it and then copy it so we can use it in our program. Once you've got your API key, we'll add one more line to this program and go back to the 11 labs module. Within that, there is a method called set API key. It takes one argument, you can probably guess what it is, it's your API key. I'm not gonna type mine directly here because obviously everybody can see it. And I recommend in general, not putting your API key directly in your program, just in case you accidentally share it on GitHub or make a video like me and put it on YouTube. There is an, a better way, another way, of including API keys in your programs that other people can't see. I've made another video about that, so I recommend checking that out if you want to uh, code like this with your API key. Anyway, that is how you use the 11 Labs API to create voices, to create text-to-speech. The only thing left for me to say is... Thank you for watching.